Good afternoon, it's Tony Hayes again, Paranormal Investigation UK. Today's date 25th of January 2022. And uh, we're now on to movie 349. Um, we've dealt with, with a couple of quite bizarre ones over um, the last few captures. This is equally a bit bizarre. Um, what the owner's actually saying is at around 40 seconds, and we just bring this movie up. This is dated the 29th of uh, June. We The last event was the 19th of June. So we've had a bit of a jump now, 29th. So it's 10 days that's gone by with nothing. Then the last event on the 19th of June was in the empty room, which was a bang and some strange activity with the CCTV camera where the infrared ant engaged. We now jump forward 10 days. We're now at 11 o'clock and the 29th of June is a Tuesday. So this is Tuesday night, just coming up to 11 o'clock at night. That there is a window, a window, a weather uh, sort of screen camera, and um, like a, it's like a weather monitor, really. Um, there's also an app that works off a mobile phone, and what he actually says is around about forty seconds, it blinks out and it does go out. Keep watching, it's just there. There. And it just sort of blinks out, just just for a second, I'll stop it, and it goes out. Uh, the owner suggested that um, something had crossed it, like a, like a shadow. I'm not so sure with that. The camera's reacting to something. It seems to be going in and out of focus. Then it goes back on again. But that's not what engaged the camera in the first place. That must have been what triggered it. That and that light anomaly. Yeah. That's bright enough to trigger the camera. It's seen it as environmental change. Dust or air bubble, particle, insect, whatever, passes the camera quite close up. The infrared lights it up like a beacon, bang, and the, the camera gets another 50, 55 seconds and gets that in there as well. Um, I think the way that I'm going to play this is I'm going to look at this first just to see if we can make anything of it. Um, I'll put this into Movie Maker, which I'll just uh, configure itself. Yeah. So we should be able to see this quite clearly. Is that a cloud? Is that a cloud around it? Um, Rain up a little bit.
if you look at the the camera how it's pixelated I think a lot of that is due to uh, a dirty lens don't dial it down again you can see it's, it's always permanently wet this thing So the question is, <clears throat> has the light dimmed or has something come across the front of it? And um, and that's the reason why it's dimmed. So it's just like, I really don't know. Now that's quite interesting. If you look here, hopefully you'll see on YouTube okay, it's quite light. I'm not sure why what's reflecting there, what reflects it. It's the radiator. The white radiator, I think that's reflecting the light off the infrared because if I put light on it you can see how it gets brighter same as here it's what's what the infrared is uh, reflecting off so we can be fairly confident that that is light from the um, camera makes it light up and when that screen goes um, begins to blacken so does that. <clears throat> there. It's that area, then that area. That is like a small, it's like a, a little bit bigger than a sat nav you'd have in a car, and it's facing that way. I'm pretty confident that isn't a reflection from that, that this is the reflection from the infrared. But undoubtedly, it does darken the same time as the, uh, there. And both come on again. Um, right, so when I think I'll play this, I'm going to take a screenshot when it's um, when both of them are lit, that one and that one there. And then I'm going to take the similar where they both go out there. It's only very subtle. Because hmm. the owner said he'd looked at this quite a number of times and came to the clues and it was an actual shadow rather than the actual uh, unit itself. Not a very good one that.
just not sure what to make of that. Okay, <clears throat> I don't think there's any more we can do with that. Um, well, what I will do. Is I will put that into Mixcraft now, just to make absolutely certain that there's no sound that may give us um, a potential of a clue. Because so sometimes with some of the phenomena we've had in there, if, it, if it's been lights and that type of stuff, we've also heard sounds at the same time, which makes it even more compelling. So I'm actually going to have a look at that to see if it's um, possible. Okay. I'll turn the uh, I've amplified it using the EQ. Um and let's have a um, let's have a listen through. Here's the sound there, and then it blinks. There is a sound there. Um, let's find out where that's, get rid of that a second. Just not sure if if it got anything to do with the the blinking. and then it darkens <clears throat> this isn't darkened this one this is the original footage of this um, so you hear the the sound and two seconds after it begins to darken hmm What's the sound? Turn it back down. I 
I can just about hear it. Just about hear it. And that's with the over headphones. Um, So, because I'm interested in the frequency, it's just a question of turning it up on real time until you begin to see it, its head pop up around here. And then I'll go to average. There it is. It's not quite rat territory, <clears throat> but normally the rats who we have encountered we have not had to turn the, the volume up, but it, it does sound like rappy, sounds the sound. Well, I'll do a good average and it's um, just trying to get a fix on the frequency. It's quite difficult when you're dealing with low level of the volume. You can certainly hear it with the... Um, the headphones on zero when it's on no amplification but it's showing now it's like a pillar of um, very distinct um, getting into mid-range frequency um, I'll, I'll take a, I'll take a screenshot. I'm just not sure. It sounds a bit mechanical. I'm just wondering if it's um, the camera. We have had the odd noise, which the owner heard once and knew it had come from the camera and kept his eye on it. And sure enough, it was a camera and it was changed. Um, so they have got the potential of making noises. These cameras. So I'll write that up anyway. Um are we dealing with um some sort of shadow here? And we do have the sound about two seconds before they get the punished clack rap sound two seconds exactly that begins to dim and it looks like almost like a shadowy effect that runs across it um, it'd be a difficult one to write up this one because we've got a couple of things occurring uh, in principle the room should be should be quiet um, we have got a sound within the build, within this room that's mechanically sounding two seconds later that blinks off um, what tends to happen is um, obviously the camera alerted because of the, the light anomaly and we've caught so much accidental captures which is what these are both that them the light and that radiator dimming suggesting some sort of cloud uh, shadow run across the, across the front of it together with the sound a couple of seconds before that's the accidental capture so w w when it is that the uh, business owner gets alerted to say that the uh, alarm on particular camera is uh, is gone off I've asked him to look all the way through it just to see if there's anything else there listen and hear um, and that's when he, he did it and he spotted that which has been normally quite easy to have missed hmm right okay I'll write that one up accordingly if you've got any thoughts on this particular one how are we dealing with a shadow or is it just some sort of um, issue certainly never happened before that it's never happened since when that begin so is it the screen is dimming but because the radiator behind it is also showing signs of dimming, are we dealing with a shadow? 
So, yeah, it's been quite a few interesting and strange uh, captures to deal with. So, right, so that's the uh, end of, um, what movie is this? Movie 349, three, I'll see you on 350. Bye.